So yesterday I met with the 14th Dalai Lama, um, which was a bizarre experience. I never saw myself as a guy who was meet, meeting with the Dalai Lama, but I never saw myself as a guy meeting with Billy Graham either. So, um, but I uh, uh, spent a few minutes with the Dalai Lama and and really listened to what he had to say yesterday. And uh, there's a lot to be learned here um, and a lot of common ground. When I talked to him and told him, you know, what we were doing and um, and that we were trying to bring different faiths together without mixing our theology, he said um, that that is one of the biggest heartbreaks of his life right now, that it is that we are dividing ourselves, that we're being so foolish by dividing ourselves when we all will stand together. We all have similar, if not the same goal. Any good religion has the same goal, and that is happiness, love, and peace. And if we can't unite on that goal as humans, because he said, everybody on earth needs to recognize that we're all equal. That we are all the same. We're all human. We're all born, and we all want to be happy but as he's as he said there's some troublemakers in that lot as well and he said many of the troublemakers are highly educated people that are using uh, their position to crush others he said we're social animals and yet we're very self-centered. And those two things don't match. He said we have to get back to the basics, his words. Back to the basics. Because this is not good for our future to be so self-centered. If we have to have each other to lean on. And he counseled that we begin to be friends again. He said, friendship comes from trust. Trust comes for caring and serving others. So that's what I would like to concentrate on. I will tell you, Stu, that I had a hard time meeting with him, and I, I wanted to say to him, so how's this Tibet thing worked out without any boycotts? Yeah, because they would have... <laughs> The the Chinese government surely would have backed off if they no, were No, the boycotted. Chinese government probably would have killed everybody. <laughs> yes. So. But the boycotts worked for Martin Luther King. They worked for Gandhi. Uh, and they worked for South Africa. They've worked sometimes and haven't worked others. I mean, Well, those are three pretty big ones. And I think in the 1970s, had we boycotted China, we, I mean, if they wouldn't have killed everybody, you're playing with the Chinese. They could have just killed everybody in Tibet. Um, but you can't boycott China now. Um, but, and his uh, view was he didn't want to do that because he was afraid of what the Chinese would do to his people. I, I thought there would be a more, mm -hmm. you know, uh, peaceful reason not to. No, just hmm. I'm afraid of what the people, what would have happened to the Tibet people. It's a pretty good reason, though. The, no, it's a great life reason. Of I, no, I agree with. No, I agree with him. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with him. But I, I wondered if there was more of a, you know, kind of a stew answer. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes you kind of a negative kind of a person. Negative nilly. Well, I don't know if you would have what used you said, negative nilly. Negative nilly. Well, but we know he's a big golfer. We know a lot of no, things he's about him. No, he's strangely not. He's a big, yeah. hitter. No, big he's hitter. Not. Big hitter mm -hmm. of the Lama. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Doesn't he carry much a, cash. Bill not Murray a good was tipper. never a caddy for him. Not a good tipper. Uh, well, yeah. are you sure? Uh, well, I'm, I, I... Did you ask him? Is my I question. I didn't ask him, but oh, okay. he held my hand for about two minutes. and he? Yeah. Did and you feel the consciousness flooding into your body? It was weird. Total I have total consciousness, consciousness now. Yeah. I have total consciousness now. It's good. Now.